Hey, Kim. Uh, definitely agree with what you said about science. It's uh, very technical, and uh, being somewhat lazy myself, uh, more prone to philosophy and uh, psychology and the humanities, um, I'm not very analytical, and science is very difficult for me, not so much because I can't understand it, but because it requires a lot of focused attention on one specific field, and, you know, because to get scientific data um, that's valid, you really have to focus in on this very narrow and specified um, area of knowledge, and um, I'm more of a forest guy than a tree guy, so... It's hard for me to get into the details of science, but yeah, science in general is awesome. And um, I have heard of this machine, this particle accelerator that they're building. And, um, you know, uh, yeah, I'm not really that worried about a black hole opening up either, because if it does, then I don't even know, will we have time to realize it? Or will we just be uh, sort of evacuated immediately into another dimension? I don't know. It's too crazy to even think about. Um, exciting though. But I wanted to ask you what you thought about physics, physicists' idea that they could come up with a theory of everything. And, you know, it, the name, it speaks for itself uh, what that means. Um, you know, they're working on string theory now where they're trying to, um, in a sense, reduce physical reality to these basic components, which are vibrating strings. And, you know, the math and science behind it is very complicated, and I don't understand it. There's probably about, you know, a couple hundred people in the world that actually do understand it. Um, the rest of us are sort of left with these metaphors that they try to construct for us, vibrating strings, you know, that go through 11 dimensions or whatever, you know, whatever that means. The idea is that because... Um, at least from the scientific materialist worldview, everything here is physical, and a theory of everything would just basically be a theory of physics. And if they can unite quantum theory, which deals with all these little particles they're banging into each other, and relativity theory, they would have a theory of everything, which would explain everything. But it leaves out most of the human experience, I would say, um, probably most of biology too and so I'm wondering what you think about that that idea and that goal that the physical sciences have sort of um, placed in front of themselves um, but that's really what they're all striving for now is to unify all the theories of physics that we've been able to develop so far into one grand unified theory um, which in and of itself, uh, you know, I'm fine with. But, you know, the way that they call it the theory of everything makes it sound like they're also somehow explaining, like, consciousness, for instance. And, you know, all these other things we associate with, with humanity. And, um, you know, you were trying, you were sort of moving in the direction of asking, you know, what is all this, what seems to be very abstract and almost um, academic knowledge uh, really worth at the end of the day? You know, we're naming all of these these particles, which I think are really, it's all just, they're all mathematical constructs. You know, an atom isn't like a little miniature ball that you could hold in your hand or anything. It's this, it's this construct that we assume exists in order to study the behavior of, of the actual world using these very sophisticated uh, machines and, and particle accelerators and whatnot. And, you know, we sort of have to see um, the events which take place inside these machines through a grid work of, of mathematical conceptualizations and frameworks in order to actually interpret them into anything remotely meaningful to a human being. Um, and so an atom is more like, you know, a cloud of possibility than a, than a discrete object. Um, so, you know, anyways, I was just wondering what you thought about this idea of there being a theory of everything, which is really only a theory of uh, physics, I guess, the observable universe. Um, do you think that that theory really covers everything? Or... 
would it by necessity leave something out? I would say most of what it means to be human. Um, so yeah, let me know what you think. Thanks for listening.